What is happening? Welcome back to the podcast. Jack, you're here. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Raining in Nashville today. Uh, coming live from the world headquarters. Couldn't ask for much more. It's been beautiful and hot lately. Got a little rain, so that's obviously obviously good for the plants and the, and all the gardens and vegetables out there, all that good stuff. But hey, a couple things to start off the get-go. Big, huge week, and I'm hoping you're having a big week. I hope you got a week planned for full of exciting things. If you don't, it's not too late. It's only Monday. Get on it. Plan something for Thursday, Friday. Do something now. I mean, write it down and say, hey, okay, well, I'm going to do something different. Go to a nice lunch. Go out. Do, do something. Plan your week out. Let's figure this out. But a little update on my week. I've got a big week starting... Well, you know, I guess I say every day is a good day. I mean, today I hit the gym, got back, feel great, um, working on the podcast. I got some other, I got a photo shoot coming later on today. It's going to update that jeremytodd.com. So if you haven't got on there yet, get on there, get signed up for that Monday Motivation. Sent it out this morning. That was a lot of fun. I'm kind of tweaking it. I'm adding two videos on there now. So I'm hoping you're like my mug shot and then another motiv- another motivational video too on there. So uh, check those out. Uh, get signed up. It's easy. Go to the web, jeremytodd.com, get signed up, name and email address, and then you'll start getting those uh, emails from me. I send one out at least every uh, Monday, some out on Thursdays or Fridays, but uh, it's just something to break up the week. Uh, it's, it's a good way to start the day for sure. But this week for me, I've got a big interview coming Thursday uh, with Joe Fairless. If you haven't heard Joe Fairless's podcast, make sure you listen to it. He's uh, got the number one real estate investing podcast in the country. Uh, and it's just an awesome, it's, it's nice that these guys that, and, and this is the way I hope you are, this is the way I am, this, but a lot of people aren't like this, that when you hit a certain point in your life where, and you know, you may know people like this that think they're just too good for everybody else, that stuff wears me out. You talk about forgetting where you came from, and maybe they came from the top, who knows, but um, obviously based on the story that I've told you guys is I've struggled through the top, oh, oh man shut my window with the uh, garbage man coming back by. Like I said, it's raw and uncut, just for sure, with this podcast. It's going to be different than any other podcast you listen to. But anyways, you know, obviously we've talked about I've come from the bottom, tried to climb my way up to the top to get to where I believe that uh, I need to be, where my family needs to be, where my life needs to be. But anyways, with Joe Fairless, sent an email, said, hey, I'm a big fan. Let me uh, sit down with you a little bit of time. I got that coming up this Thursday. I'm excited to figure out what he's done with his business. How did he start? What fears did he have? What keeps him up at night? So we're going to go through those questions. We're also going to go through the John Maxwell questions, which I always enjoy doing. We'll go knock those out with Joe on Thursday. So hopefully that podcast will be up and rocking Thursday afternoon sometime. Uh, Meet with Sam Crowley on Friday. I got a seminar there in Cincinnati. So that'll be fun. I'm sure it's going to be chock full of information, motivation. So that'll be fun. I'll do an update uh, podcast Saturday uh, on that, just to let you know how that went. I'm sure, obviously, it's going to go good. But I also signed up a gentleman named Dave Anderson. And if you don't know who Dave Anderson is, I would ex- definitely recommend you to, to look him up. I mean, I always look him up on YouTube. Uh, but the best way to look him up is Dave Anderson and, like, automotive. Uh, that way, automotive training or something like that, because there's a couple other Dave Andersons in there, but there's only one Dave Anderson in training. And he's absolutely the best. I mean, he's got a couple books out that are awesome. So we're going to get into him. It'll be the positive side of business and the car business and about what sale, what it takes to be a good salesperson, what it takes to be a good in business, to stay motivated. Because the car business is tough to struggle with. They go through some bad ups and downs like a lot of businesses. But we're going to ask him what, what, he, what his advice is to get over some of these things. So I'm excited for that. But the biggest thing today, and, and this is kind of leads me into watching these videos and Listen to Dave Anderson, but really leads to today's topic is if opportunity knocks, are you ready to open the door? And, you know, I thought about this as kind of a funny story, but I thought about this yesterday with my daughter. She had some friends come over and she was getting ready for bed, so she was in her pajamas. It was like 7 o'clock or something like that. So, door knock, knocks on the door, her friends are out there, and she takes off running. She's gone. She runs into the bedroom. She wasn't ready. She goes down there, she wants to change all the clothes, comes right back out, and says, t- says to her friends, I can't play right now. I'm getting ready for bed. We're having dinner. So finally, she lets them go. They, they, they take off. So she goes right back to the bedroom, changes her clothes again, puts it back on the pajamas. Sure enough, five minutes later, here comes a door knock. Her friends are back. She goes flying right back into the bedroom, puts her clothes on. So that made me think, what if knock, opportunity knocks in your life? And I know it knocks in my life, but what unfortunately for you and for me, I don't think we always see the opportunities as they come. Sometimes we see them as distractions. Sometimes we see them as problems. Sometimes we see them, uh, you know, not, not opportunities at all. But I think 
and I've said this before, but you, you have to be ready so you don't have to get ready. And that, that really has resonated with me. I am 100% ready for the next opportunity. Are you there? Are you 100% ready where you are? Are you sitting at your, at your job, at your career, or, or coming up with this business? Are you 100% ready for the next opportunity? And if not, why not? Let's get there. And again, that's what we're listening to this podcast. It's not bash, you know, I'm not trying to say you know, you're doing something wrong, but we have to actually acknowledge that we're not ready. And when you acknowledge you're not ready so you, so you can actually get ready, it makes a huge difference. Because at least you made that first step to acknowledge, okay, I'm not ready, but what do I need to do to get ready? Do I need to, for instance, let's use a marathon. In order to run a marathon, you're not going to wake up and, and take off running tomorrow. You need to obviously train, train in cardio, train eating right, drinking lots of water. But you can't just roll out and take off running on a marathon. Now, a lot of people out there are ready. They're ready. So if a marathon comes up next week, they're ready. They don't have to try and get ready so they can be ready. They're already ready. And that's what I'm kind of talking about correlating this to your business and your life and your family and your friends and your expectations. You have to be ready so you don't have to get ready. So when those opportunities come, you're ready. The worst thing that could possibly happen, and this has happened to me in the past too, where opportunities have come up and I wasn't mentally ready, physically ready to take to jump at the opportunity. And those things in the, that go past, and boy, you, you regret them for a long, long time. You know, you feel bad about it. And they kind of beat you up. But that's not going to happen to me anymore. And I hope it doesn't happen to you anymore. And that's why we're just trying to get better. That's why we're listening to these podcasts. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, listen to these motivational videos as well. They help you stay ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. They continue to do it. It's like bathing. If you don't do it every day, you start to stink. It's the same thing. Like, it's like your attitude. If you don't continue to listen to motivational things, read motivational posts, and stay positive, your attitude's going to start to stink. You have to do it daily. You have to. As you do that, you get your A game ready. So if something happens, and again, I'll use myself as an example because, again, this podcast is raw and uncut, and we're all on this journey together. But, again, I don't have a, a, a job or a career yet. Now, this is obviously very important to me. I'm going to continue to work on this, and hopefully this will be the career sooner than later, and I think it's going to be. But uh, I am 100% ready. So if someone calls me tomorrow and says, hey, Jeremy, we need you to start tomorrow, I'm ready to rock. I mean, I'm sure I got to shave. You can see it in the YouTube video. Make sure you log on to that YouTube and subscribe to that. But shave, I'm ready to rock. I, I'm mentally ready. I'm motivational. I'm, I'm motivated. I'm excited. I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't have to try and get ready because I'm already ready. And that opportunity will come. But if when it does knock on the door, 100%, I'm going to open that door and I'm going to walk right through it. But that's what you have to look at your life. Are you 100% ready? to take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. If not, we need to get there. Let's quit making excuses. Let's quit lying, or, you know, quit selling yourself for all the reasons you can't and sell the reasons that you can. Because again, we're always the easiest person to sell. We can sell us all the bad things, the things that we need, we can't, we're not good at or whatever the case is, but we need to get past that. We need to continue to work on the motivation, continue to get ready and be ready. So when opportunities come, and they will come, it's always funny when, you, when you're ready for opportunities, they start coming your way. And you can start walking through these doors, but if you don't, if you don't ever, if you don't have your mentally game right, you're not right. You know, well, things will never come my way. And a lot of times we look at those as problems. But not listening to this podcast, not being one of our, one of my listeners, we are going to continue to be ready. We're going to rock and roll. Continue to listen to these podcasts. Stay motivated. Get to the gym. Eat healthy. Drink lots of water. Let's get it going. It's going to be the best year ever. Sign up for the Monday motivational video. If you haven't done that, why get on it? Send me an email, jeremy at jeremytodd.com. Tell me what you struggle with. Let's get through it. I've always offered that um, the 15-minute power call. If you did give me a five-star rating, shoot me an email right away. Say, hey, I did that. Let's get, let's get the 15-minute uh, the power call going. And let's also do the, uh, uh, the five-star view on the Facebook page. Check that out. The Facebook page is awesome. I mean, I'm telling you what is taking off like wildfire. Tons of information on there. Check it out. Like always, I appreciate you tuning in. This is The Positive Side.